Hey everyone, my name is Corey. My name is Ryan. And we're from Linda's Electric Quilters. Today we're going to show you a quick, easy project that you can do with the kids or grandkids this summer. So let's get started. Today we're going to be doing fabric art with crayons. And some of the products that you'll need, of course, are crayons. Um, we prefer to use Crayola. I found that the wax is better in some of the experiments that we've done. Um, you'll need a hot glue gun, some masking tape, and either a piece of cardboard for the uh, fabric piece to lay on, or some canvas. We'll show you both ways today on how to attach them. And you'll need a low dryer and a stitch shot design. So on the stitched out design, we did uh, we used 100% cotton sateen fabric. Uh, for this case, we, we did white. And we also used glow-in-the-dark thread. And there should be a link above that you can get to the online store to get those products. So we're going to go ahead and attach our fabric pieces to our different backgrounds. And the first one that we're going to do is a cardboard piece that I just cut out of a box. And what I did was I took a scrap piece of fabric and I did a basting stitch right across the ends here just so I could easily flip it over and then I will flip it over the back of the cardboard piece take a piece of tape and tape it right on there and then so I flip it back over and so I've got a piece you see Ryan I've got a piece here and who is that? Dory! It's Dory! So what we're gonna do then is glue our crayons right across the top here we're gonna do blue and yellow for Dory and then we'll be able to melt that down. So that's one way that you can do it, just with a piece of cardboard, put that over there. And then another way that you can do it is if you have a, a canvas piecing, what you can do is take your fabric piece, lay it on that canvas, and what I like to use is uh, either some corsage pins, or if you don't have corsage pins, safety pins will work just fine. And I'm just gonna pin all the corners. That's a good idea. It is a good idea, it holds it up. So I'll just pin all those corners right in there. And all you have to do is just pin right through the canvas. Um, you don't have to pin and then come back through and pin it up, that's too complicated. Just gonna put it right in there. And so that way it'll hold it a little, just like that. And then we'll glue our crayons right above it and we will start the melting process. I've laid out my crayons and I'm ready to glue them on. Perfect, so why Ryan? is gluing them on. What I'm gonna do is kind of show you how I'm gonna lay mine out to get the design that I want. So what I did was grabbed a few different crayon colors that I liked. I'm gonna use the, the neon, uh, neon Nights that Crayola does. And I'm gonna do them kind of like in a rainbow fashion. And what you'll do is to glue them onto the canvas, you basically just wanna go pro probably below this line when you lay them on there so you can easily pull this right out from under it whenever you're done with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay those out. So now that I've got them laid out the way that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down. So I'm gonna borrow the glue stick from Ryan. And what I'll do is just put a strip of glue, of hot glue, right down here. And I wanna stop right at that line and so what I'll do is just then lay it right on that canvas, lined up just the way I said, probably right below this uh, little marking right there. Press it down so it'll stick on there, and then go to the next one. So I'm gonna glue all these down all the way across. So now that I've got them glued on all the way, and they don't have to be perfectly straight, they can be a little wonky. What I'll do is then just move any of these hot glue strings that I have off of here, and then we'll be able to set it up on our easel and start our blow drying process. So Ryan is gonna take his piece, and he's gonna set it up on the easel, just like that. He's gonna grab his blow dryer, and he's gonna kinda stand right here so you can see what he's doing. And he has it on high heat, and he's going to do it at the fast speed. When he turns it on, he's going to basically be putting the blow dryer right here next to it to start the melting process. And it's just going to melt right down. Um, and then to, to, I would lay something down before you do that, because sometimes the wax can kind of go everywhere. So go ahead and turn that on, Ryan. All 
Alrighty, Ryan, that looks great. Now you can see, as you can see, some of them fell out of their tubing. So what you can do is before they dry all the way, you can just get something that'll pull them right off. Or you can even smear it around if you want a little bit, just to get the look that you want instead of that extra clump. So sometimes that happens, especially if you're using a lot of heat, which is okay. It gives it kind of a textured design, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna put Ryan's off the canvas here. And then we will start on mine, and then we're going to show them what they look like side by side. So Ryan is going to go and pull yours off. And you're just going to pull it right off and lay it right down here. Perfect. Good job. That looks really cool. So we're going to lift this one up. Lay it on here. Okay. And we will start the heating process. Alrighty, so <clears throat> I'm all done with mine, and you can see I got a little straggler coming through right there. So I will pick him off, and then we're at Ryan and I are going to show you what the back of these look like, because the front looks cool, but it's really, really cool to see what the crayon does through the back going through the thread. So we're going to look at that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this off, I'm going to get rid of my little straggler, and then we'll flip it around for you. Ryan, wasn't that just a lot of fun? Yeah, it was super easy and super fun at the same time. And so at the same time, yeah, look how great they turned out too. I really, really like yours. The back looks great too. It's really cool how the crayon just melts right through the thread mm -hmm. and goes on through it. Well, for more content from our channel, make sure you subscribe. Top right. Give this video a thumbs up and share the video. Think about all the memories that you can make just with this one easy project that only took probably 10 to 15 minutes. What do you say? About 10 to 15? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. From all of us here at Linda's Electric Quilters, we'll see you next time.